go. Brand new information out of Iowa. The numbers is the Republican frontrunner Donald Trump now hearing some footsteps in the first caucus state. Things seem to be changing. Some serious competition from Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Check it out. Trump at 25 percent. This among likely caucus goers. Cruz at 23 percent. Well within the margin of error. Chris Starwell is well within the margin of error as well. Fox News <laughs> Digital Policy Editor. How are you, sir? Good day to you. Bonjour. Uh, what's going on here with Ted Cruz? Uh, He's doubled his support in a month. So Ted Cruz was sort of out hovering over the deep in the Republican uh, presidential race. He had a lot of dough. Uh, he had a lot of favorables among very conservative voters. But it hadn't happened. The thing hadn't happened. And you may have just seen the thing happen, which is when we look at this poll, we see Ted Cruz has tremendous support. He, has, he does the best among self-identified very conservative voters, among Christian evangelicals, and among self-identified Tea Party advocates or members. Those are people you want to be doing well with to win in Iowa, and he is doing very well with them. He's also doing very well with women, and that is contrasted against frontrunner Donald Trump, who does very well with men. He does very well with self-described liberals, self-described moderates, and among voters who lack college degrees. So you have two different electorates in Iowa, and one of them is going all in for Ted Cruz. Okay, you mentioned these numbers here. Go inside the numbers on Cruz is what we find. Tea Party support, 42 percent evangelical 27 very conservative 38 percent so you're now seeing a bit of a shift now and we'll see again what are we 80 days away now 75 check the calendar it's getting T hot ted cruz and donald trump have played nice with one another so far well what, yes what, when does that change that changes whenever Donald Trump decides that this is an existential threat. When he feels like he's got no choice but to start insulting Ted Cruz and start attacking him, that is presumably when he'll do it, because that's what politicians do. They attack when they feel they need to attack, uh, and we assume that we'll see that. The better question is this. Donald Trump was very successful in humiliating, belittling Ben Carson. He attacked him. And then in good timing for Trump, national security focus came in and really hurt Carson. You see it in this poll. You see it in our poll nationally. Ted Cruz is going to be a much tougher out and much tougher to take down for Donald Trump because Cruz uh, is not just a guy who was top in his class at Harvard Law School and a great national debating champion, but also this is a guy who's been through the hurly-burly of politics for a long time. And when Trump swings at him, I would imagine Cruz is going to be ready to swing wow, back. Okay, all right. Now, speaking of attacks, a super PAC on behalf of John Kasich, Ohio governor, puts out this spot going after Trump. Watch. He's a war hero because he was captured. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> Stop it. Oh, it's so weird. <laughs> A great relationship with the blacks. I have. I've always had a great relationship with the blacks. The blacks. Mm. Mm. Now Trump was in Columbus, Ohio last night, taking shots at John Kasich, and there are reports that Republican establishment out of Washington are going to get together and try and figure out a way to quote defeat and destroy Donald Trump. That, according to the Wall Street Journal, what's happening, Chris? So what's happening here is that Donald Trump, who has brought in a lot more voters who are not Republican, or at least not traditionally Republican, they're independents, uh, they're, uh, again, is an Iowa liberal to moderate, uh, and as they come into the Republican Party backing Trump, he's sort of trying to have a hostile takeover of the GOP, if you will. He's got his core supporters, and he wants to come into a divided party, and he wants to take it over and be their nominee. Now what's happening is you're starting to see people coalesce. What's significant here isn't just that they're going to run these ads, but that candidates are banding together to come against Trump and find some way to deal with the wall-to-wall -wall media coverage and uh, gift for being really mean and insulting to people that Trump has and see if they so, can fight back so against they, that. So they feel way. like he can win then? Well, uh, they think that he can win. I think they overstate how wide his path to the nomination is, because here's what's got to happen. If they really want to win, if people who are not named Donald Trump want to win the Republican nomination, a bunch more people are going to need to get out of this race, and that probably includes Kasich, who's running that ad, that probably includes Chris Christie, and that probably includes Jeb Bush. Wow, more to come. Thank you, Chris Tarabot in Washington. Thank you, you sir.